Well, an image is only what we imagine. I mean, the problem when you paint pictures, as I've done, to distinguish the idea in your mind from what is out there. I look, I see, I see a tree. Does the tree exist anywhere except in my mind and in my image? It foxed me for years, this problem. Going back to London in the 40s, maybe it's hard to imagine the dark and the dirtiness and the fact that there was so much grit about because so many buildings had been bombed. he realized that the world was not solid objects in an empty space. He started discovering the dynamic relation between light, mass, and energy, and the energy of the painter. You see something, oh, look, I must draw that, but it appears in a flash. You know, Blake's words, all that we see is vision by generated organs, gone as soon as come. But there's no doubt that you've seen something in that act of tension, as a, a moment of vision. Have you read the Duino Elegies? Well, Wilka was a major German poet in the beginning of the 20th century. I mean, one of these elegies starts with the words, And who, if I cry, would hear me among the angelic order? I mean, what are angels? They're light carriers. They're things that communicate with light, not with thought. Well, painting requires something quicker than thought, done instantaneously. And that, I suspect, is the angelic order. to start thinking, what have I got to say that Gomba didn't say? And it was quite a slow inquiry.
It always seemed to me that when I set out to paint something, all I did was to paint the idea in my head. And so one day I thought, I'll start painting and I won't put down the brushes until I've penetrated this problem and stop painting what I think. But of course, as that went on, I stopped having a mind at all. And then the most extraordinary vision started to appear. And a great deal which had always puzzled me was explained. The contradictions of one's experience of the world seem to be insuperable. And if this was a mad journey, at least it was had a lucidity that I found very precious. Now there must be a hundred tall buildings mushrooming all over the place and it gives forth a completely different energy, it's much more mundane and so I had to come to terms slowly with this new kind of energy. And it goes on puzzling me how exactly this castle hangs to that rock and the houses go gently down on either side of the river. It's a mystery, but it's only another example of the mystery of how anything appears. But the solidity is just in the sort of rigidity of our own heads. Once you start examining what you call the facts, they become more and more mysterious. <laughs> 